just um, just working with the etching like this for the first time, it's, it's changed the way I just layer painting. And, like just thinking about how I start and finish. Like I think I kind of figured out ways to make the paintings go a little more smoothly. <laughs> like, yeah, that's great. Um, just thinking. I think it's pretty much perfect. So this is the work called Comus, or the Drunken Stupor, in parentheses. Um, it's the, one of the funnest prints I did while I was here because it really taught me all the different things you can do with, with uh, intaglio, like every different kind of fabric you can use and all the different kinds of wood graining techniques and all this weird stuff that I never knew you could do with intaglio. The title is uh, Ennui, parentheses. Um, I forget what it is. It's a uh, Oh, the, the the very long conversation or something like that. Yeah. But I just picture this guy. I get this. I just have to go into these moments of picturing these characters. And for me, the, this guy is um, just sort of sitting there listening to this conversation that's going on for way too long. And just sort of has like a. You can't tell if he's upset or just like just sort of that moment where you just give up in, in those moments of conversation. And you're just sort of like, uh huh, yeah, I know, <laughs> yes, you know. I think to an extent, but the Renaissance Man is just a title that came to me. It's just the way he's garbed. He has this sort of weird cloak on. Um, it kind of looks like he could be going to the Renaissance Fair, but again, kind of a sad figure that maybe that's his whole life. Is like, Renaissance Man also means someone who's you know, jack of all trades and all that stuff, but it could also mean the complete opposite, just like the dude who likes Renaissance Fairs. The End Papers is a project I've been wanting to do for about five or six years. I've been in love with these, um, the End Papers of the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew for a long time, and I always wanted to do sort of vignettes of my paintings um, in the same sort of format as that for an End Paper. Um, but, um, so for this series I decided to do uh, the End Papers for a book that doesn't actually exist, but um, actually found a book that kind of would work for it. Um, so it's the End Paper, it's the revised End Papers for um, a book called The Homosexual Neurosis. <laughs> so I just like the idea of, of putting uh, a new spin on what would you find inside of this old medical textbook that describes like homosexuality as this evil thing. So just to sort of in a way play fun with it, to have beautiful fairies like be the end papers for this book that's kind of horrible. But I'm incredibly happy with the end papers. So, and they're going to get used in an actual book too, so that's exciting. <laughs>